The news hit those here at the Portland Fashion Institute hard. Designers and businesswomen like Kate Spade influence students to let out their own creativity. Yeah, so we're gonna pin this. Turning cloth into fashion. 380 students are enrolled here. Portland is a quiet apparel mecca with 29 clothing and shoe manufacturers. They've got this burning thing inside of them they want to get out. This is a very creative town. So yes, having a Kate Spade or an Alexander McQueen is inspiring to people. Now come on in. Kate Spade started her handbag empire in the 1990s with her husband. She couldn't find simply designed purses that were affordable, so she started making them. She started her life working in retail. A lot of folks think that that's just a, you know, minimum wage work. Who wants to do that? But such a great way to learn about the customer and what that blank space is out there and then how to fill it. Growing it into an empire, Spade sold off her company entirely in 2006 for $93 million. They are like us. Portland psychologist Kevin McGovern says even for people who seem to have it all, stress of business, being a parent and being famous is intense pressure. Everyone has problems and most people don't talk about their problems. And being that this person had so many things going for her, she may have felt ashamed or embarrassed to talk about her depression. He says sometimes people resort to suicide if they're diagnosed with an illness or they believe their family is better off. McGovern says it's the opposite. Children are always worse off if a parent takes their own life. There has been a steady increase in the number of suicides in every age group over the past 15 years, even kids as young as 10. The suicide rate for white women, according to the CDC, has increased by 60 percent in that time. But you got to get off the couch and say, I need to change today. I have to be more positive. I have to engage in positive activities. That kind of hits you hard. You want to know what caused that and then what lessons can we learn from that so that our students, so the rest of us in our community can learn from it and move on. In Portland, Nina Melhoff, KGW News. There is help and every problem is solvable. You can call Lines for Life, the number is on your screen. It's 1-800-273-8255. Or you can even text them at 273-TALK.